Uh, the province is about to uh, embark on a, a significant amount of investment in uh, uh, energy efficiency and that's where really people will see the actions that they can take at home uh, and in their daily lives, uh -huh. uh, it, it essentially um, contributing to our overall greenhouse gas reduction efforts. And uh, so that's one, one of the pieces of the climate leadership plan, of course, that we put forward last November. And uh, as we move through the budget and uh, uh, through the Climate Leadership Implementation Act, uh, there will be a, a spot there for the Energy Efficiency Agency that we will be uh, investing in over the course of the coming year. And uh, so we've seen a large number of really good paying jobs in the oil and gas sector be lost. Families are feeling really insecure. Families are, are feeling very, very vulnerable in the Alberta economy is vulnerable. It's very clear that mm -hmm. uh, our dependence on one commodity at one price to one market has, has not worked well for Alberta. It delivers great wealth when the price is high, but it's a volatile commodity. And so you know, what the Climate Leadership Plan really will do is, is give us ways to invest in the, in the economy of tomorrow, people, put people to work today on what we know are the, the coming technologies, the coming industries, and uh, uh, all of the different small business and other uh, economic benefits that come from the economy. And so there's always more to be done. Mm -hmm. Alberta, in particular, is, is starting from behind. Mm -hmm. right? We are we're the only province in Canada with an efficiency strategy. Uh, up until very recently, you know, uh, uh, there was really no appreciation. I think politically, that uh, at the political level anyway, uh, with government, that, that Alberta needed to be bold and could be bold as an energy producing jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. uh, and so th there's plenty to be done. Uh, we'll work with the federal government. Um, we're certainly delighted that they've, they've um, put pride of place with climate change in the federal budget. The carbon fund doesn't take effect until the 2017 budget year, so we've got some time, and I'm actually grateful for that time. It will give us uh, some time to be thoughtful in terms of our investments at yeah. the provincial level, and to ensure that the federal money is being used the best way possible. Okay.